G'day everybody, it's Neil here. Welcome to Apotheon, an indie game by Alien Trap. It's actually pretty cool. I've played around a little bit. It's a bit of a fighting game with a Greek historical twist. There are gods and... well, actually, a god so far is all I've encountered. I've only played about 30 minutes. But, uh, let's... let's check out the game here and I'll... I'll show you what it's all about. So, I mean, it is, uh, it's seemingly optimized for a, uh, controller. However, you can do a little bit of tweaking. Get it working for the keyboard. The gods have abandoned you. What love they once gave is now gone. The sea gives only water. The woods give only wind. The earth gives only dust. Even the midday sky gives only twilight. And with their shepherds gone, the sheep fall prey to wolves. Without the gifts of Olympus, you are lost to the darkness. Art style is pretty tight, as you can see. It's very nice, very consistent. It's very polished too, actually, for a two-dimensional two platformer. So you generally, I mean, I'm playing on a computer at the moment and not the controller. So you actually do play with keyboard and mouse and the control system is a little bit weird. You can see you're facing the mouse there and actually, yeah, <laughs> you can make it do kind of weird shit. Um, so uh, as you can see, we're kind of like in the tapestry, like the art style is tapestrical? <laughs> is that a word? Anyway, it's, it's kind of very cool. And um, they've got a full inventory system. A little bit, a little bit strange, but you are—you uh, will get used to it. And um, I find that the, one. the fighting style is quite interesting, because you can, with some weapons, you can um, have pointed attacks. This one's got a bit of a slash here, but you can actually point into the ass. With some of my oh, eyes might made up here. Like Andrios, you're still amongst the living. Our watchmen didn't even see their ships through the darkness. These raider scum will take everything we have. They're taking prisoners, invading houses, and burning anything they can't pillage. I need you wherever you can stick a blade. So we're getting invaded, it seems. And our objectives are little... You can see the little white arrow in the top left and the bottom right. Those are our objective markers. Secure the village! And here's our map. Very hard to read, actually. I must say one of my criticisms of this is the map. That's okay. Another thing you kind of get used to as well. Let's go to Kandrios. As I kill myself. Give it up. Oh, mate, no. So, kind of an interesting combat system. Uh, it does get better um, when we get some uh, better weapons here. We've just got a kind of a stock standard rubbish, rubbish sword. Let me just kill this innocent here. Just got a rubbish sword here. So, we'll head to... I don't know what's at the top here. Oh! We have a nectar of healing. Can we use it? There we go. Beautiful. So... I go to the academy. Let's see what's inside. Apparently, the apothecary is inside. Oh, okay. Here's an interesting mechanic. Now, everything's black. The lighting system is pretty nice. I mean, it's two-dimensional. It's a little bit easier than um, you would expect. But um, this torch, basically, you can normally carry carry a shield. However, because we have the torch, we are shieldless. That's right, because everybody Over else is shield this too. Right? So each weapon has its own attack power, its own speed, and obviously range. And that guy got completely gimped because he had a pitchfork. So he had a long, long attack, but he has high, uh, high single hit target damage. Meanwhile, my deeps are really high. Okay, so... What have we got here? Ditney of Crete. Beautiful. So we haven't unlocked it yet. I think we'll unlock it closer to the end of this uh, level, but it does have, there is a crafting system. And we'll go over that later. And there's a shitload of little things to pick up for that. Oh, we got Xyphos. What do we have? Is that a new one? Oh, look, in any case, Xyphos knife. I, I like the hatchet here. You can see 20 damage for the... Oh, the sword's actually... 
Right, okay, so I'm actually thinking of an axe that we can get later. The hatchet seems to be rubbish. So let's quickly go through. And once we can get rid of this torch, that'd be really nice. Okay, so we can switch off our torch. You can see, actually, you can see the background texture is just stone, which I think is really cool. So we're, we're basically playing on a painted stone wall. This guy's mad. He's got no chance. The physics are obviously a little bit crazy. I, I, I think that's a part of the charm, but I'm not sure yet. I haven't had it actually uh, ruin anything I've been doing, so I can't really complain. Lay him low. And I'm actually really keen to get a shield to show you the... Um, the it's, I, well, I don't know, it's a, I don't know if it's a mechanic per se, but it's a cool little trick you can do when fighting with it. Oh, it's our, it's our friend. He's very dead. Cool little trick you can do when fighting with a shield. It's, um... You can actually stab feet um, behind shields. So that, that'll that'll make more sense when we actually unlock it. So let's quickly go to... I guess the objective here. I think the objective is to actually find the apothecary in this in this building. Where's that? It should be up here. Good heavens. My candrios. I doused all the lamps and hid up here before they could find me. I'm fine, but you look dreadful. Come closer, my boy. Here. Let me show you how to mix a soothing tonic for your wounds. Alright, Nectar of Healing Recipe. And Greek Fire. Alright. Cool. Alright, so I don't need this rubbish anymore. So we have basic crafting system here. The ingredients show up on the left. That tells us what we can use here. Beautiful. Alright, that's all we need for now. Point made. Just trashy stuff. And we're done. Probably need to torch again. So, what we're gonna do is get lost, obviously, while trying to get out. And... Get, yes, get, yes, 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 thank you, thank you, Nicandrios. Beautiful, so... We have to visit everybody in the city, and let them know we're getting uh, munched by invaders. Let's go to that, so we'll just make our way to the... Uh, Oop, oop, oop. Let's make a way to the next target. It also seems that all the voice actors, like, they British? They, they're kind of British, I think. They're, they're definitely not anywhere... Oh, shit. Not anywhere close to being Greek, that's for sure. So we got a farmer's fork now, which actually gives us a bit of range. So I actually switched to that to illustrate how how wrecked this is. How slow we will now attack. Ah, the smithy. This should be good. So here's where we get a shield. So this allows us to block. As you can see, I might actually switch back to our sword because that's probably the best for this. Oh, actually, we got a club because that does extra damage to shields. Beautiful. Okay, so... Ouch! So our friend here, he's ranged. He's got a sling. You've got nothing! So, is it, well, you can seemingly... <laughs> you Get can it. seemingly carry as much as you like without that repercussion here. So, now that these guys are out of there, I'll switch back to the sword to show you the... The ass poking mechanic, which I like. He doesn't know what's going on. I can still crack it like the old days. Why are you standing <laughs> there in the and nothing but your skin? That thick skull of yours as good as a helmet. I think I've got some old leathers in the back you can wear. Grab me that coin box, would you? I want to make sure you can cover the costs. Alright then. Here, try these on. Cover up that greasy hide of yours. So apparently we were getting around naked the whole time. But we're good now. We've got a hat and some pants. And I think we can get in here now. Yes, we can. So we got a Doru. We're gonna use Xyphos. And we could just upgrade our armor a little bit. Beautiful. Smithy actually useful. Obviously basic climbing mechanic. Everything is um kinda nice here. 
There is a, I think there's a purchasing system, but I haven't encountered it yet. It must, it might be later. We are in the first town, which is getting invaded after all. So, uh, you can see in the bottom left, we have some prisoners to rescue. So I might just go do that. Hopefully this is the way to the prisoners. No friendly fire, as you can tell. And this is the intro part of the story. We haven't heard much of the story at the moment. Except we're in trouble. Cut him off. Uh, there is a there is a lot riding on the fact that you have a shield and uh, you need to know how to use it. Oh, here we go, the boats. See, there are some trick shots. I just took that guy's head clean off with a sneak crit uh, from above, so that wasn't too bad. And it does appear we can only carry one type of um, one type of weapon at a time. Alright, so let's get the prisoners from the boat. But the ship? Is there a difference between a ship and a boat? Let's make a bunch of noise in here. Repair kit, great. Lockpick, great. We will actually need those. I've I've used them only to get treasure from, for example, here. Oh, we need the earth hole. Over here! Got a runner! Our friend is uh, gonna open the door for us and we're gonna release him. Well, that was stupid, you see. Okay, so this is using the lockpick, which is basically just. For the market. Bet you do well in the arena. So he's got a, he's got a shield, so. So if he's blocking, we can actually uh, stab free speed. See, there we go, and that's crippled him, and then we can uh, take his head clean off. So they've thought of, they've thought about those little things there, which I kind of like too. And the prisoners uh, would no thanks. Make their way out. So you can see, I mean, they've, they've got this. The uh, <laughs> they've told us now we can actually roll, which is kind of nice. Nectar of healing. Ah, here we go. The cigaris. That's what I like to see. What do we got here? Leather braces. And the cigaris. It's it's a little bit slower, but it does chop quite hard. And at this stage of the game, the enemies are actually kind of dumb, so I'm not I'm not too concerned about the slow attack on it. Let's quickly go and do our and do our last two quests, last two parts of the quest. Ah, the granary. Oh my God! Help me! They're taking the grain. God, stop them! We don't even have enough to last the season. They're taking grain out of all things to do. You can see there's five markers here. So they appear to be our objectives. Nope, nothing stopping me from uh, cleaving him in two there. Beautiful. Over here! Over here! Got a runner! So one more, one more for the uh, granary, and then we can make our way out. There's a nice climbing thing here, which I kind of like, actually. So the, we can actually look further with shift, which is kind of nice too. Especially if you're trying to sneak up on somebody in the dark, that helps. I'm not sure what's going on here. You can kind of do this weird walkie thing if you're on the edge. There we go, beautiful. Objective complete. So we make our way back. So the last objective. Find the hunter. Squeal! He sounds like he could be a help. But okay, that guy didn't make it. He appears to have taken full damage after I uh, clubbed him across the map. And you can see why I switched to the axe now. It is, it is quite powerful. Now this does make more sense towards the end of the level as to what's attacking, what is happening. And here's where we learn javelins, right? So we better equip the javelins because they, uh, it's actually a required... Here we have this switch here. And it does, it's got proper uh, basic arc physics on it. Got 
the reddies. What we got in here? Okay. Go on. Went up this morning. Didn't see any rabbits. No birds singing neither. There was always the bird songs in the morning. Are you drunk? Yes, okay, he's completely loaded. <laughs> Not quite sure what the point of finding the hunter is, but that's fine. We got javelins, we got a bow, we got some arrows. Basically teaching us that we have ranged. Lovely. So there we go. Uh, you can actually switch between weapons here. There's weapon sets, I suppose. So, one, two, three, four, up on the top here. Uh, we do actually have, like, um, Greek fire. Have we got Greek fire? Well, let's craft a couple of those, because I do believe we need them later. It's basically a grenade that explodes at impact, so something like a Molotov, you there, I suppose. with me! Their leader is on the warpath! We need to rally to the temple! But what are we waiting for? Defeat the tyrant! <laughs> well, look, I'm not gonna... <laughs> look at how my matey seems uh, preoccupied. We need to defeat the tyrants. Okay. Oh. Right. Beautiful. Protect your homes. Oh. Okay. I didn't find a uh, sickle though. It's really keen on a sickle. Oh. What's his name? Opium the tyrant. Oh. I actually copped it. Somebody threw something at me. Here we go. Nothing getting in the way of the Kandrios. Oh, somebody else has finished off that guy. Beautiful. The Temple of Dion. Alright, so this is where we need Greek fire. Right, can we use it? Yes, I think. Uh, <laughs> that appears to be the wrong one that I've used. That's fine. Uh, so let's just... Uh, where's that Greek fire? There it is. It's just a basic Molotov. Blow shit up. It's quite fun sometimes, but I don't know. I don't normally like that sort of thing. So, ooh, let's upgrade our shield here. Help me over here. Okay. Uh, our mate just got iced. Beautiful, beautiful. So you can do some kind of cool tricks and stuff. It's quite nice. Give it up. Oh, he's alive. There we go. Nectar of healing. There's, there's not much more to uh, show for mechanics. It's, a, it's all story. It's all art. And you can see we've got a nice spear here, which is kind of nice. We can actually throw the Doru there at the last second. Which is uh, not quite enough. But it's alright. We need to go into the darkness. And hopefully not fall. Which means we, unfo we unfortunately need to, um... Yeah, we need to get rid of our shield. Which leaves us a little bit defenseless. I don't mind that, I don't mind that mechanic, to be completely honest. It got a little, it got a little bit of crit criticism for just being uh, frustrating with no gain. Or no real challenge, but I, uh... actually quite like it. It just, just breaks up the monotony of the, the fighting stuff, pointlessly. Uh, that you keep doing along here. The uh, AI doesn't lend itself to... Well, I mean, the game doesn't lend itself to super genius AI, but... Um, yeah, that's why, that's why I didn't see a problem with the darkness here. It just sort of adds difficulty with a little bit of artificiality. And as far as I'm aware, you can't really spec to range DPS or MDPS or anything like that, so... It doesn't hurt, basically. Okay. So, five Hydra fangs. With heads carved from rare Hydra bone, these arrows split into three shafts when loose. Very interesting. Alright, so we're heading to the exit now to fight the tyrant. I sing of golden throned Hera, whom Rhea bear, queen of the immortals is she, surpassing all in beauty. She is the sister and the wife of loud thundering Zeus, 
the glorious one whom all the blessed throughout high Olympus reverence and honor even as Zeus who delights in thunder. Cool. Seems another game with a lot of history we see we uh, will apparently be getting. Uh, oh look, there's an armor upgrade just under here, but I'm not interested. I want to defeat the tyrant. We should probably switch out offhand as well. <laughs> with an Asper shield, which is apparently better. 84 HP on this? it. Out of my Whoa. way, peasant! The gods <laughs> have forsaken you! Resign yeah, no to your fate and leave this world to stronger men! That's a pretty cool shield that guy has got. You see, I've got a very tall shield, which is gonna help. Right in the feet, there we go. So, let me just quickly switch here. Got a javelin? I thought I had a javelin, but apparently not. <laughs> Fuck. Alright, let's just quickly switch weapons here. I wanted to demonstrate uh, the javelins here, and we will put uh, our sword. Okay. So we've got the, we've got the Hydra head arrows at the moment. He's not happy about it. You see, I don't really like ranged weapons. But it seems that neither, neither does he, so... Whoa! That's a big hit on the head there. So he's not, he's not too great, the tyrant. Right in the back, son. You don't turn around from the Kandrios. Right, let's pick up our loot. That's mainly just gear. And we got that cool shield now. All the Hydra Fangs, which apparently worth much. So let's grab those again. We'll find out what's going on with this city. And so, a champion is born. A lone bright ember glowing from within a dying heart. Arise, my chosen. Arise, Nicandrios. You stand before Hera, fairest amongst all goddesses, divine queen of Olympus. Under the shadow of the mountain, humanity gasps its last breath. The gods have abandoned you. Zeus, king of gods and men, my husband, has turned his back on your people. Hmm. He has broken the sacred contract between deities and mortals. He has betrayed you. You see, Such a we jerk. are like you and I. Wife and son, wounded by husband and father. Unfaithful in matrimony, he discards his oaths for lesser creatures. Irresponsible in patriarchy, he discards his mortal subjects, like an ungrateful child tossing away his toys. The law of Zeus is absolute, and the Olympians are compelled to obey. Without the seeds of Demeter, your crops fail. Without the grace of Artemis, your forests are barren. Without the gaze of Apollo, your minds stumble in darkness. But I, as queen, am not so easily cowed. Step to the altar, Nicandrios. If you say so. I present to you a choice. Ascend Mount Olympus, strip these callous gods of their power, and cast down Zeus from his lofty throne. Stand up to the cruel deities of Olympus and earn your people's salvation. Or remain here without the gifts of the gods and watch your world turn to ashes. Ah, uh, you drive a hard bargain. <laughs> Let's, let's jump in, of course. For too long has my husband escaped the consequences of his actions. But together, we will take what is owed. We ascend from Dion to saving our small city. This is Apotheon. That is the first part of Apotheon, the introductory chapter. We find out there is an alternate history. I mean, there's no real history of the gods, is there? This is an alternate story 
of the gods, as far as my knowledge of Greek history is con is a uh, is concerned. I'm not not a, I'm not fully savvy with this. The game I I quite like it. The art style is very very nice. You basically play along a painted wall. It's it's pretty good. The fighting system it takes a little bit of getting used to, but it's kind of fun to actually get underneath defenses and take off heads and that sort of thing. And the physics do sometimes create funny little situations. It's a nice little indie platformer with a great 2D art style. The AI is not the, the most genius thing in the world, but that's totally fine because there are weird situations that make you think, if you can control the game, you can beat, if you can control the character, you can beat the game, basically. Uh, there's, there's not going to be a, an enemy that's really taxing in terms of AI. If you like the game, the link is in the description below. So thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you next time.